Well, it is back. The new season of The Voice begins this Sunday. Global music superstar Jason Derulo is joining the show for the first time with Rita Ora, Jessica Malboy and, of course, Guy Sebastian to compete for the pick of the talent. I'm intrigued. You're 12. That voice is well beyond your years. Kind of Where did that come yeah. from? Some amazing voices out there. And away from the TV studio, Guy has been doing some extra mentoring. The Sebastian Foundation, New South Wales Police and the PCYC launching Upbeat Project, fostering musical talent in unexpected places. Lean on me, we are not strong. I'll be your friend. Oh, he must have forgotten the words when he handed the <laughs> mic over. Uh, here to tell us all about it, that old mate, trick. Guy Sebastian. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, too. Uh, yeah. This is a wonderful new project. We're going to talk about it soon, but yeah. we've got to talk about The Voice mm. and that Jason Derulo guy. Uh, when he comes in, is it all fierce and competitive or are you chummy? How's it work? No. No, not with Jason. Come on, give us something to chew on. No, you're what... not chummy? No, no, we're very <laughs> chummy, but what am I to be intimidated about? I mean, he's, you know, he's ripped and he comes in with cool, you know, green hair and <laughs> rhinestone-covered leather jackets. I've got nothing to be intimidated about. No, he, he's awesome. I can't wait for actually people to see yeah, right. him. Because, you know, we've heard his music and, and for a long time now, but he is such a, a great guy. He's so invested and yeah. uh, I'm excited for Australia to get to know him. And what about that little minx, Jess Malboy? Oh, she mm. says she's... No, you've got to sing it when you say her name. <laughs> <laughs> she says she's a little bit... Going to play a little bit dirty this time around. I don't... I don't believe it. Oh, she was... Oh, she was talking about the show. Oh, yeah. I, I texted her husband and, and said some... So I was like, lucky, Thim, you're very lucky. Jess is in the mood. No, she, she's amazing. She, she Honestly, this year, she's really stepped up. And You know, the, it's, a, it's a weird gig. When, you're, a, when you just sing... It's a weird gig yeah, that, to yeah. step into, and and it takes a bit of warming up. And Jess is th this year; she is fierce, and she, you know, I'm getting blocked left, right, and centre. You'll see um, uh, on the show there's these block buttons, and and I became the recipient of that block button a lot. It's like mm. a battleground. If only we had a song that we could play. Mm. Yeah. I'll, I'll try and write I'll work one. On that. Let's work on that. Um, it looks like some more amazing talent. Every time, mm. every year, we sit with you and we go, "Where do these people come from? They just keep coming and coming." Yeah. What are we? What can we? expect from the contestants this time around? Well, I'm always pretty honest about the state of the, you know, w whether there's great talent, exceptional talent. Um, I felt like last year there, there was like spotted talent, whereas this year it's like a blanket of, of heaps of great really? singers. Yeah, so last year there, there was some really great singers and then some that n weren't quite as great. Mm. This year it was really hard to pick. So I, I think maybe COVID or whatever, it, it might have just held people off and then this year they decided oh, to try out so I think people will be pretty pretty shocked at how great the talent is again I know we say that a lot but it'll be hard to pick a favorite this year they're all pretty oh, good yeah you saw that 12 year old that's am amazing know, right? no no wait till you see her sing like and and it's more her sass it's it's just incredible is she how, really know. 12 or is she like a 22 year old in a 12 year old body uh, we haven't asked for a birth certificate <laughs> yeah, but, you know. for a birth it's amazing <laughs> and we'll be shocked when we see a sun bear up there as well yeah. oh, yeah. let's talk about the upbeat project mm. we saw a little bit of at the start of the segment yeah. this is about helping young musos tell us about it yeah, look, for me, uh, you know, growing up, it, it would have been a dream to have a space like this and you sort of pay up to $1,000 a day to use a studio and not everyone can afford that. And, out, you know, way out west and, and in areas like Blacktown, on The Voice, we see heaps of those singers. There's so much talent out there, but not always the opportunities for, for them. And, and so... You know, really, our, our foundation normally we're, we're really honed in on Open Parachute. It's a youth mental health program, but occasionally we get the chance to do some little side projects like this. And so, teamed up with New South Wales Police and, and the PCYC out there, built this beautiful space. I, I loaded this space with a whole bunch of gear, including just wow. the, the computer itself. I've installed a bunch of software that I use, all my samples and things that I've collected over 20 mm. years, did a little bit of a tutorial, but I'm going to go back and do some tutorials on how to use produce music and how to actually use it. We, we love this about you, because every time you come and sit on the couch, we're either talking about the voice and or something special that you're doing. You did that big walk, you raised heaps of money, heaps mm. of awareness. It's, it's great that you're doing, that you're giving back so much. Tell us about this launch yesterday, because the kids got to sing with 
Guy Sebastian. <laughs> well, and and when, even when you forgot the words, I got to sing more. <laughs> exactly, I just palmed it off. Look, it, it, I didn't expect to have so many tears. You know, I, the Commissioner Karen Webb, she was sitting next to me. Everyone was in tears, including her. And um, and it's this moment, you know, so actually seeing the kids and, and hearing how talented they are. How, uh, this was beautiful. Like, they were actually perfect. If these guys were on The Voice, they all would have got a chair turn. But, wow. but I think it's more also seeing the impact that the volunteers there and the people that work there have mm. on these kids. It's such a safe place. It, the studio really, on a more basic level, is just to tell them you're worth it. This is a... I've recorded in way worse studios yeah, right. for, for... I mean, pe they've got basically a Grammy... A capable wow. you know, studio. Wow. It's world class. And, and so when they walk into a space like that, they feel like they deserve it. Yeah. You know, they deserve the best and, and they've got that opportunity to, to you know, and be they, their best selves. And they do it. It's called the Up project. Yes. Congratulations on it. Thank you. And we cannot wait to see what Sunday brings. Oh, it's yeah. going to be good. It'll be exciting. Looking forward to it. Good yeah. to see you, mate. Yeah, thank Thanks. you, guys. Uh, don't forget, the new season of The Voice begins this Sunday on 7 and 7 Plus from 7pm. All the sevens there for you.